What's up everyone? This is Deagle Beagle and today we're going to go over Glamora. Now, you may be wondering something. Why is this Terra Ghost? Well, I'm just thinking Incineroar or something might try to fake out it even with toxic debris. But I suppose you don't absolutely you don't really need terror ghosts because if they do fake out you then they get um, toxic spikes set up on them so you could use something else i would just prefer to be able to be immune to like incineroar's fake out and just knock it out if i want to though because they might have like incineroar and like say a moongus in the back to suck up the toxic spikes but if they can't fake out Glamora, then you can just like knock it out in one hit with Meteor Beam because look at how much damage it does. Like even if it has a salt vest, it's probably not going to wall. And uh, Neil was talking about how people are going to EV it to wall Meteor Beam, but it's like how? Look at this. Look at how crazy this is. Because it raises its special attack and then uses a 120 power rock stab move on it. So you would need like calm, not calm, careful nature. And wow, it can still look, it can still knock it out possibly uh, one eighth of the time or more actually with a crit chance. So more than one eighth of the time, it still knocks out a max HP and special defense assault vest uh, incineroar. So it's going to knock out like 99% of incineroars. Unless they max out special defense completely and HP and give it no attack, or not even adamant, and no defense. Like, nobody's going to do that. And no speed at all. Like, that's uh, like going to be like 0% of Incineroar. So you're probably going to knock every single one of them out. Even if they're running Assault Vest. So that's really crazy, guys. And you could use... Let's see. Uh, I would use... If I'm using Meteor Beam, I would use probably all attacks with it that hit hard instead of like uh, Mortal Spin because, because you're raising your special attack one stage and you can hit harder with your coverage moves. So probably just do that. Like Meteor Beam the first turn, get your special attack up, and then start... Uh, sludge bombing or earth powering I suppose you could use both power gem and meteor beam if you want to but I don't think you generally would need to do that because you could generally just use a coverage move after that like sludge bomb or earth power or something I suppose though you could take off earth power for power gem but it's up to you and Wait, why did I copy this? Oh, I think I was going to put Mortal Spin on it or something. Or, yeah, I'm just going to delete it, though. And then this one, I was thinking Terra Stellar might be good on a Sash one. Because if you're using Sash, you don't need to necessarily change your defensive typing. Except if they have a multi-hit move, like Surging Strikes would be like... The only exception or tachyon cutter that I can think of. So in that case, you might want like Terra Water or Terra Grass with Glamora. Uh, this one you could run Mortal Spin on. If you're not using Power Herb, then you probably should be running Sash or or Assault Vest or maybe Citrus. Because there's not a lot of other good items for it. And you could maybe run one of these Glamoras with Don Dozo. It just depends. So Terra Stellar, I believe. Well, maybe you could even run Terra Blast, but I don't think I don't think I'd run it. I think how Terra Terra Stellar works is it gives you a like um I want to say like a regular boost. To, for, so for stab moves I think it would do like twice as much one time and 
Yeah, just one time though. But typically Glamour doesn't hang around long enough for you to need to use the same move more than once. The same type of move more than once. So you could probably just switch moves with it and do just fine. The only issue with Terra Stellar on this one might be if you use Mortal Spin and then want a Sludge Bomb or something. Um, but actually you wouldn't need to Terra a lot of the time anyways or it wouldn't hang around a lot of the time anyways long enough to to do something like that so that probably won't be a huge issue you're mostly just trying to get up toxic spikes and do some damage before it get, goes down and switch in dozo i suppose you could use glamour without dozo especially the power herb one i would probably use the it's probably going to be used the most without dozo because you don't necessarily need dozo with it to, to be good for it to be good and this thing is probably upper a tier it just will knock out a lot of things and it just it is kind of crazy so the last one would be either like citrus or assault vest and you could use a defensive terra against surging strikes and tachyon cutter i would say water because that's better in the past but there's been a decent amount of moongus lately so you probably want grass if there's even uh, any common usage of Amoongus even though in the past I've liked water because it walls like heat ran and other things a little bit better than grass and you don't have to worry about earth power and heat wave or just uh, fire Pokemon like Chi Yu uh, where you can wall their ally but still be like resistant to their hard hitting moves it just depends so either probably Terra water or uh, grass. I don't know about dragon. Dragon is maybe an option, but with all these dragon types out lately, dragon's not, to me, it, dragon's not the go-to defensive typing anymore. Like with Raging Bolt and other dragon Pokemon, like Walking Wake being implemented, I would not use dragon. And therefore, Terra Grass has gotten a big boost because because of that that um other terror type alternatives have become worse so in summation glamora is likely upper a tier yeah. and the best set probably with it is power herb meteor beam on almost every team that uses glamora including dozo because it's just so meteor beam is just such a good move with power herb and you can use a defensive terra if you need to with glamora and maintain that special attack increase and that really hard hit on that first turn so so yeah good luck guys uh with glamora i think you'll probably do pretty well with it because just looking at all these pokemon it could beat a lot of them or at least do a decent amount before it goes down. Like even Iron Hands, it could Meteor Beam it or its ally and then like uh, hit Iron Hands pretty hard with Earth Power because it'll have a special attack increase. So, yeah, it just depends. Okay, thanks for watching. Stay, stay tuned for the next video. Bye.